Welcome to the Distance Visual Acuity Vision Screening Tutorial. In this short video, we will review the purpose for this type of screening, the tools used, and how it is implemented with children of various age groups. The purpose of Distance Visual Acuity Screening is to identify children who may have visual problems that cause things to appear blurred at a distance. For example, this screening will identify students who may have difficulty seeing the front of the classroom or children who may have trouble recognizing familiar faces from a distance. Each distance visual acuity screener should come prepared with acuity charts, occluders, a measurement tool, such as a tape measure, a pointer, and a quick kit. Each screener should have both the Sloan letter chart and LEA symbols chart available during the screening. The letter charts are used for children who know all of their letters, usually age five or older. For children under the age of five, you may use the LEA chart. Be sure to prepare the child and determine their comfort with the alphabet when deciding which chart to use. On one side, you will see the screening distance. The number will appear as 10 over some number. On the right side of the chart, you will see a number that is 20 over another number. This is the value that will be reported. Below the large letters, you may have a chart that is broken up into two smaller sets of letters. The letters on the right are for use when screening the right eye. The letters on the left are for screening the left eye. Each kit should include reusable and disposable occluders. Remember to disinfect the reusable ones after each child. You may find that some children may have difficulty keeping the occluder on their eye. Proper placement of the occluder is important to ensure that the screening is accurate. For children who need additional assistance holding the occluder, consider using occluder glasses with flip-up covers or stick-on patches, or having an adult assist the child in holding the occluder. During the screening, you may discover that a child is less comfortable with the letter chart. To get an accurate screening, switch to the LEA symbols chart. You may need to review the item names beforehand to ensure consistent screening. Children can name the optotypes with any name they are comfortable with. For example, the LEA chart square symbol may be called a box by some children. The process for conducting screenings at school or community settings differs from that of a home setting. However, screeners should be prepared for each type of screening. We will go through school and community settings first, then demonstrate a home example. Acuity charts should be secured to a blank white wall. The height of the chart will be determined by the manufacturer. If a child in the group is significantly taller or shorter than the other children you are screening, it may be necessary to adjust the height. Measure a spot 10 feet away from the wall that the chart is on. Mark the spot where the children will stand using either masking tape or the Happy Feet template, which can be downloaded and printed from the ADHS website. If using the Happy Feet template, ensure that the heels of the template are at the 10-foot mark. First, have the child place their heels on the line, with their feet in front of the line. Second, you will screen both eyes with no occluder. In addition to providing a measurement of the child's vision as a whole, this also provides the child with the low stakes opportunity to acclimate to using the chart. It also allows the screener to make any necessary adjustments, such as switching to an LEA chart. Third, you will screen the right eye by having the child cover their left eye with an occluder. Using a pointer or your finger, direct them to the right side of the line they will read. The child may need assistance with proper use of the occluder. Ensure that the eye is completely covered and that the child is not attempting to lean forward or peek around the occluder. If a child is having issues holding the occluder in a consistent or correct way, consider changing to one of the previously mentioned stick-on or flip-up glasses options. Repeat the same on the left eye. For a Sloan letters chart, you will record the last line where the child identified three of the five letters correctly. 
For the LEA symbols chart, you will record the last line where the child identified three of the five optotypes correctly. This number will be recorded as a fraction with the chart distance as the top number, so 2020 or 1010. For example, let's say we are screening a five year old child on Sloan Letter for testing at 10 feet. First, we screen both of his eyes. The child reads all the way down to the 1010 line, identifying all of the letters. On the right eye, the child can read down to the 1020 line and identifies four of the letters correctly. On the left eye, the child reads down to the 1010 line and again reads four of the letters correctly. You will mark the vision for each eye based on the manufacturer's suggested numbers. In this instance, we would begin with the measured line and then translate it using the corresponding numbers on the 20 foot side. So both eyes measure at 2020, the right eye would be 2040, and the left eye would be 2020. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, if using an LEA symbols chart, each child must identify three of the five symbols on the following lines to be considered passing. Children three years of age, 2050 line, children four years of age, 2040 line, children five years and older, 2032 line. Children tested using a Sloan chart, 2032 line. You will also refer any child where the eyes are measuring with a difference of two lines from each other. This signifies a larger disparity in the child's vision, which could be the sign of an undiagnosed vision disorder. A child who does not pass the first vision screening should be rescreened. This occurs at the discretion of the screener. If the child does not pass the rescreen, they should be referred to an eye care professional for further examination. In our previous example with a five year old boy, with both eyes he is able to see 2020, and he sees 2040 with his right eye and 2020 with his left eye. At age five, the child is considered passing when they are able to identify three of the five letters on the 2032 line. There are two indicators that the child should be rescreened. First, the measurement for his right eye is two lines away from the one for his left eye. Second, the measurement for his right eye does not meet the passing criteria of 2032 or better. If the child has similar results in the rescreening, he will need to be referred to an eye care professional for a comprehensive eye exam. As mentioned, a home visit differs from a community or school setting in some ways. Typically, the children in a home visit are much younger. The vision screener must also demonstrate flexibility when it comes to the space and lighting logistics of a home visit. For the purposes of this video, we will highlight the key differences in a home visit compared to a school or community setting. In the home, the screener should look for a space that is well lit. The acuity chart should be placed on a white wall or door where the child will be able to stand 10 feet away. Please note, this may require moving furniture or other items in the home. Just as in a school or community setting, the screener will measure and mark 10 feet from the chart with tape or a happy feet template. Prepare the child for the screening by reviewing the shapes and process of the screening. You may need to enlist in the help of the parent or caregiver in helping the child follow directions and holding the occluder. Screen both eyes, then the right, then the left. Once the screening is complete, review the results with the caregivers. This may be a pass or a referral to an eye care specialist. Remember, the purpose of distance visual acuity screening is to identify children who may have trouble seeing things that are far away. Accurately conducting a vision screening will ensure that these children receive the appropriate support as early as possible.